Shall we start? Yes. Yes, sir. So today we are going to perform one experiment that is heat treatment process. Already in theory class we studied what exactly the heat treatment. Heat treatment we are providing to increase the hardness of the component. Yes. So hardness value mainly depending on the cooling rate, the cooling rate that we are applying to the component. So today what we'll do? Here we are using the electrical furnace, electric furnace. Okay. In that we kept the three component or we can say three specimens. Now we have to increase the temperature of specimen up to the austenitic region. Hmm. So what is the austenitic region? Above 727 yeah, degrees yeah, Celsius yeah. we will get the austenitic phase. From that if you cool it down up to the atmospheric temperature, ultimately the microstructure of that particular component will change. And if the microstructure changes, ultimately the property of that particular component changes. And we are observing the hardness value for that particular component. Okay. So mainly with the help of this experiment, we are studying the three types of heat treatment process. One is the annealing, second is the normalizing and third is the hardening and it is also known as quenching. Yes. So for first one annealing, what we are doing, we will increase the temperature of the component up to the austenitic region or above 727 degrees Celsius and we will keep that specimen inside the furnace only and we will cool it down inside the furnace by switching off the furnace button. That is known as the annealing process. Second normalizing, we will remove the specimen from the furnace and we will keep it in a open atmospheric air that is the normalizing and third is we will remove the specimen and directly we will put inside the water that is hardening or quenching so what will happen for these three processes first for the annealing we are cooling it inside the furnace so ultimately it will require larger time so we can say that cooling rate for the first process is very very low second specimen we will remove we will put it inside the atmospheric air that is a normal hygiene. for that cooling rate is moderate and third one we will remove the specimen and then we will put inside the water it is having the fastest cooling rate and in general as we can say that if the cooling rate is fastest we will get the highest hardness value if the cooling rate, cooling rate is lower we will get the lower hardness value like we studied the transformation products of austenite in that what we studied if you increase the cooling rate, we will get the martensite. side. For moderate, we will get bainite. And for slowest cooling rate, we will get a pervite. So pervite is the softest phase, martensite side is the hardest phase. Like this, now once we do all this process, now we have to measure the hardness value of that specimen with the help of this Rockwell hardness testing machine. So this is a Rockwell hardness testing machine. With the help of that machine, we can easily find out the hardness value of the compound. And from that we have to conclude which process we are giving the maximum hardness and which process we are giving the minimum hardness. Okay. So now we will open the furnace. We will switch off the button. Now we are getting the temperature above 800 degrees Celsius. So austenitic phase already achieved. Now we will remove we will remove the one specimen and that directly will put it inside the water. So we have to remove the specimen which is having the already austenitic phase and that directly will dip inside the water. So it will provide you the maximum cooling rate. So that specimen is for the hardening or the quenching process. Now second specimen will remove from the furnace and that we have to keep in an atmospheric air. in a atmospheric air. Now third specimen by switching off the furnace button we are simply closing the furnace. So due to that what will happen? Whatever the time required to cool it down that component it will require maximum time up to the 15 hours. 
so that specimen will cool with the slowest cooling rate so that's why the austenite will transform into pearlite this one it will transform into bainite and third one whatever we put inside the water it will provide the martensite martensite is the hardest phase so once you measure the hardness value of that component it will give you the maximum value okay so now we are having the three specimens so you just remove that specimen remove it it is already cool at atmospheric temperature then second specimen we are having which is already we cooled inside the furnace the f is given here so furnace because we cannot take the reading directly with the help of this component so this component we are having already which we cooled inside the water furnace, furnace. furnace. Yes. that is for the furnace yes. one which is known as the annealing process and one more we are having In so this component will cool after one hour in atmospheric air so better way we will take a ready made one e e air so this specimen we cooled inside the air atmospheric air which is known as a normalizing process this one furnace that is known as a annealing process and this is the hardening process that we cool inside the water so we'll on this machine and then we'll see the hardness value Now come to this side. So this is the Rockwell hardness testing machine. With the help of this machine, we can find out the hardness value of the component. Now this is the automatic yeah. machine. In that, mainly you have to apply the minor load and major load. Okay. So first specimen for the hardening, I will keep it on this anvil. Then we have to. Take this anvil upward. Then here we have to check the scale. So here we are using the scale B. For scale B, we have to take this indenter of one by sixteen inches yes, ball, ball diameter. Ball diameter. Then we have to set the load, major load, hundred kg. That already we set. Yes. And on this machine also we have to set the scale. So which is already set H R B. H R B indicates. Hardness value on the Rockwell machine with the scale B. Yeah. That is H R B. H R B. Now, whenever we are applying the minor load, we have to apply the load in such a way that this value should not go beyond three thousand, mm -hmm. or these digits will be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So slowly we have to provide the load. We have to fix it so that we will get the value here three thousand. Mm, correct. Okay. 3, so it will set the point. Yes. Now we have to apply the major load of 100 kg. So we'll apply the major load. Mm. Now here you will get the value. Now the penetration is started inside the specimen. So once the space uh, penetration will be started, it is providing you the value. It will produce beep. Means what? Total penetration is over. Now we have to remove the load. Once we remove the load, whatever the value you will get here. That is the hardness value for the specimen. How much it is? Ninety-nine point one HRB. That indicates ninety-nine point one hardness value on a Rockwell testing machine with the scale B. Got it? Yes. So like this, ninety-nine point one is the value for the hardening process. Second, we'll see for the air. That is normalizing. Same process will follow. Again, we have to apply minor load up to three thousand value. Yes. It will set the point up to zero. Hmm. Then we have to apply major load of hundred kg. So penetration will start with the help of ball indenter. it will provide you the beep it indicates that penetration is over now we have to remove the load 38.2 once we remove the load it will give you value 79.2 so hardness decreases for this normalizing process and third specimen you have to take 
which we cooled inside the furnace for a near about 15 hours so again we have to apply the minor load then we have to apply major load we will re release the load and this is the value 77 which is again decreasing so what we can conclude from this experiment <coughs> for hardness or for hardening process cooling rate we are using maximum and we are getting the maximum hardness value same way for the normalizing we are using the moderate cooling rate we are getting the moderate hardness value and third Minimum. for the annealing we are using the minimum cooling rate same time we are getting the minimum hardness rate that is the